Oh. You didn't think I was going to let you get away without showing my favorite little graphic that we have here at Newsmax. This week marks the 75th anniversary of the Roswell incident. Did you know that? July 8th, 19, it's actually today, July 8th, 1947, a newspaper in the city of Roswell, New Mexico, ran a story about the U.S. military confirming debris from a crashed flying disc had been found in the area. Despite a statement from the U.S. Air Force the next day that the wreckage composed of metallic-looking objects, including rubber strips, tin foil, and sticks, was from a weather balloon, the events captured global attention, and to this day, it's one of the most well-known UFO cases in history. You say Roswell, everybody knows what you're talking about. Since then, military members and civilians alike have reported sightings of unidentified aerial phenomena. That's what they call it now, UAP. I, I still like to call it UFO. Uh, investigative documentary filmmaker Jeremy Corbell says he has direct knowledge of these UAPs being fired on by the U.S. Air Force. And Jeremy joins us now. And this happened recently. Jeremy, good to have you on again. You say that the Air Force shot at uh, these UFOs and it was very recent? Yeah, absolutely. I have direct knowledge that our Air Force, as of just a couple weeks ago, the reports to me that were proven to me that we did kinetically engage with unknowns, with UAPs, not only us, but Russia as well. This is one of the ways that we know these are not Russian assets. And these are in our war zones. And the reason why these briefings are going around right now within certain communities is because this provides a serious flight and safety issue for our pilots. So, so this is a real thing. This is happening. Now, I don't know that we've shot any down since Roswell. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's 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 wild to think that we're actually shooting. You know, it it it, it really does. It it makes it all so much more real. Um, I, I want to ask you, you it, Roswell. Let's talk about that. And and obviously, you're one of the best people to talk about. In fact, you're the only person that was actually named in that big hearing that Congress had. They actually they actually said your name in that hearing. But let's talk about Roswell for a second here. The anniversary is today, 75 years ago today. What what was it? What do you think? Right. Well, so that's the trillion dollar question, because the debris is not consistent with the explanation. All of the witnesses that have come forward over those 75 years, it's not consistent with the, the normal um, explanation that's being given by our government. Now, I want to go back to the shoot downs or the shoot down attempts. It's really important to understand this is by policy. Any type of craft that comes within a certain radius of our ground troops, this is upon command. you got to shoot at them. Yeah. So this is not like we're attacking UFOs. This is just something where, you know, UFOs are flying into an, an airspace where our ground troops are stationed. It's so strange. I mean, I, I, again, yeah. the video, we, we, we've seen it. We, we've, we've talked about it so much. But you've got these very credible people that have worked in the Air Force uh, that, that say they're seeing things that they can't explain the way that they move. They can't explain. Um, how how uh, optimistic are you? We're going to learn something bigger here in the, in the next few years. I'm actually very optimistic because right now everybody is fighting to reduce stigma. How can yeah. we look at something like the UFO presence without reducing stigma? That's the goal right now of Congress and of the American public. So I, I've got a lot of hopes we're going to learn more. Jeremy Corbell. I love these conversations. It's always one of my favorites. Thank you for coming on again. Have a good weekend, sir. Thank you for covering the topic. Of course. We love it. All right.